Another question that we get asked really frequently about eating for your fertility is what type of fats and oils are you ideally supposed to be using uh, in your diet? Uh, and we have lots of opinions on that. Um, not only to uh, we have to think about whether or not these fats have been pre-damaged before you've even brought them home. Things like canola oil, for example, have been shown to be very inflammatory in nature because they've already been partially oxidized by the time you open the bottle. So we prefer using fats that we are much more likely to have come to us already undamaged and then that we are likely not going to damage during the cooking process. So how we help patients decide what fats to use while they're cooking is first think about what temperature you're going to be cooking at. If you're cooking at a very high temperature heat, you want a really stable fat that's not going to break down and it's not going to oxidize when it gets exposed to that heat. So oils such as um, ghee is a really fantastic one if you can tolerate to eat um, animal like butter. Um, or coconut oil, because they are really heat stable, are great at high temperatures. At lower temperature cooking, so medium or below, I'm fine if patients want to cook with a high quality olive oil. So that is fairly resistant um, to uh, heat at a medium temperature. And then if you're making something like a salad dressing, if you want to use something like flax oil or walnut oil, one of our nut and seed oils, those are great for salad dressings because you would never want to heat them. And in the AccuBalance Fertility Diet, which you can download from the AccuBalance.ca website, we list the good fats and the not so good fats so you can see which ones to choose from to optimize your health and your fertility. Mm -hmm.